All right, y'all. I am here with my old Kenmore Power Center. I know there's at least a few people who like this. Um, I'm going to do a little cleanup here. Mostly over here around where the uh, Hoover and uh, Cirrus showdown went. That's just the beginning. So, uh, yeah. St there are some things that the Hoover kicked back. And the Cirrus didn't really kick anything back, mostly because of its uh, automatic height adjustment. But I'm sure that won't be a problem for the Kenmore. Let's go ahead and let it focus. Here we go. You can actually see it lifting up the carpet a bit. Sounds like it might be coming from the roller brush. But we're also going to come over here and we've got some food right there for a direct air vacuum. So here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like the roller brush, because... Yeah, that's the roller brush, because the belt's kind of smelling a bit. But we're going to adjust the height. I don't know why they bothered putting a low setting on it, because even on medium pile, it was touching the carpet over here. So we're going to add a little sawdust down. I know <laughs> some people like tests with these machines, so we're going to add a little sawdust. Not going to add a whole lot of stuff down here. Just enough for a vacuum test. Ooh, there's a bullet shell right there. Not feeling anything else hard. No, well, that's a bit hard. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. We can even see where it was lifting the carpet up over here a little bit. That's saying something because this is some uh, pretty low carpet. So there's usually nothing to be picked up. As far as carpet is, there's nothing to be floofed up. This is a cigarette. But that's something we don't want to pick up. I think that's about it. Here we go. I'm pretty sure that's a roller brush. I don't know why. I guess it's just the uh, type of bag that's in it. Because this does have a type A bag in it. 
Um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and open the clamp. Because this is one of those top fill things. Like, not top fill. Well, it is a top fill bag. But this is one of those uh, top insert bag systems. Let's go ahead and see what the bag is. It might be one of the bad type A's. Uh, yeah, that that's an Arm & Hammer bag. At least I think it's an Arm & Hammer. I can't really tell. But, um, yeah, this is definitely one of the cheap type of bags that's in here. So it doesn't surprise me now that it would let stuff out. But, um, yeah, we could see there... Even without the brushes um, touching the carpet, it picked up pretty good, and it didn't even scatter hardly anything. I mean, there's little bits down here that scattered, but not a whole lot. But yeah, Kenmore, they're a very good vacuum cleaner company. Like, this thing is, is super powerful. Like, you can even see the uh, agitation lines down here. It lifts up carpet really good. And uh, it's on high setting on commercial grade carpet. So for it to pick up the majority of the sawdust, and sawdust is a pretty heavy type of dust. So um, yeah, there's, there's definitely some power there. There is some finer bits on the carpet, but that's just the fine dust, I believe. But yeah, the Kenmore, Kenmore really did say, really was saying something when they had, when they labeled the power center. So yeah, that's a very good vacuum. I love it. I'm glad I saved it because it was definitely going into that dumpster that was out at the house that my mom got. So yeah, it's... This is definitely, this is definitely a good save. I'm glad I got it. It is super loud, like a bit over the black Eureka over here. Because this black Eureka the Boss, this is a pretty loud vacuum. For the power center to kind of exceed the decibels, yeah, it's a bit overboard. But I don't care. I was raised around loud vacuums. My mom had a Hoover Legacy that I want back really, really bad. And, um, yeah, my papa had a Singer, which was like the Bissell vacuum cleaner, the Bissell 3510 that I think is a Dash W and the Dash 9 that I'm wanting to get. And uh, that was pretty loud. It's It didn't have a bad fan or anything so it was so it was normally loud like that so yeah i was raised around loud machines we're actually gonna swap places here dirt devil scorpion can go over here for now until i can get it next to the um next to the uh, breeze scooch over here put the power center right next to the eureka Perfect. We're going to go ahead and put this back down on medium. Whoops, not low. Low is too low for that thing. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'm glad I'm glad we're making progress here because we're almost to a thousand. I just looked back at my studio and it said 996. I mean, I know it's probably down one or two by now, but still. We're making progress here. I don't know who's unsubscribing. I know it's probably unloyal um, people, but it could also be bot, bot subscribers that, because I know that YouTube has a problem with bot subscribers. There's a lot of those going around that are probably getting terminated because they're, they're against YouTube's terms of service and community guidelines. So it wouldn't surprise me, but they're definitely, I can tell that they're being replaced with genuine subscribers. So I'm so glad to everyone who is a genuine subscriber that we are making it so far. 
So thank you for all this. So I only have one last thing to say, and that's the outro. Tell me how you liked it. Tell me what you want to see. I'll see what I can do, how I can do it, and when I can do it, and if I can do it. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content if you haven't already. And until next time, bye, y'all.